Hi everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards, and I'm coming on um, really quick uh, to answer uh, some questions I've had on um, my last video and uh, through Instagram before my account got hacked um, about the Prim Heart dies. So really quick, um, I'm just going to show you the dies. This is the Sizzix Biggs die. This is a steel rule die called Hearts Primitive. It has three hearts. And this one, of course, gives you the flexibility that a steel rule die gives you to cut fabric and different materials. Um, so these are always nice to have in your stash for when you want to do something other than just paper crafting. Um, this next set is a set of prim hearts from Spellbinders um, from the Happy Grams number no. 4 uh, oh, line by Tammy Tuttero. It's called Prim Hearts, and there's three dies. So this one, again just like the Sizzix one, has three different sizes. Okay, and I'm going to show you some tags made with each one in just a minute. And then the last set that I own is this set here. It is a stitching die set from Paper Tray Ink. It has two sized hearts, okay, so it doesn't have a third one, just two. And then it has one that cuts into the paper that I think is the same, very similar in size to the, to the smaller die. Um, and then it also has one that will cut a row of stitching um, and I'd have to go back and look to remember what this is, what they used it for. I, I can't remember right now, but all of the information would be in their stitching die section um, if you want to find out about this or look at the posts from when this came out. And uh, I think it's Erin Lincoln. I think it's Erin Lincoln's blog um, that you would want to go to. She's the person who I think um, designs all the stitching stuff for them. Um, but you can find that out on the website, on the Paper Tray Ink blog or on their website. So um, so those are the three die sets, okay? So I'm going to move those out of the way. Um, and I'm going to show you what I made with the different uh, sets, okay? So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Try and have something white here so you can see what I'm going to show you. And uh, we'll start with the... This is the Sizzix one, okay? So this is the same tag as what I made last year um, where I stacked the three hearts together. And um, uh, Vicki Oshikawa, um, who's TryHeart67 on YouTube, um, she did some really neat things with Prim Hearts recently, and then also she sent me this for Christmas. Um, the year that I made the Prim Heart tags, um, she sent me this little ornament that has pine cones and bells, and I, I actually have this on my little Greenwood Girl cards logo thing. I have it hanging um, up here, so I look at it all the time every day when I'm in my studio. I just love what she made. So um, anyway, there's lots of things you can do, um, but for now, these are tags, and I got the idea to use jump rings on my tags from Mimi Chang. Hi, Mimi. Um, Mimi had um, sent me some wonderful Christmas tags. I think it was last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. And on one of them, she had hung the bell from a jump ring. And I, at the time, I didn't have any jump rings. But now that I've been making jewelry, um, thanks to Anna Fallis, um, I did have jump rings. So I decided to add um, some little charms and bells this year using the jump rings at the bottom of the hearts. And I do like the way that looks. It kind of makes the tag even more fun. So um, on this tag, I used, um, on all the tags, I used a stamp set from Paper Sweeties that happens to be retired. Um, I wish... I wish there were more sentiments that went vertical and that were small because it's really hard to find things that will fit on the hearts. Um, and I'll show you what I did to fit a, a stamp set in a minute. Um, and then this one, it, this is that new set of candy canes that I got from Hobby Lobby that's red and shiny, um, unlike the crystallized ones. And then this is just a plastic charm that's um, silver on the back and clear on the front. So I thought that looked cute on there and then a red bell. So, so that's the one using the Sizzix die, okay? Um, again, that die may or may not be retired, but I think it's retired. I haven't seen it for sale anywhere, and maybe someone who um, knows or someone from Sizzix could let us know if it's retired or not. Um, okay, so, so for the Tammy Tetero set, I also made some tags um, using her beautiful dies. And um, Tammy, I think you knocked it out of the park on this set. I absolutely love it. I love, love, love it. Um, again, uh, 
it, it's the three dies. So the only one that doesn't have three is pa the paper tray ink die. So I stacked all three dies, added the sentiment, um, and just decorated, um, you know, and then I added uh, a little charm at the bottom of this one. And uh, some of the papers, these are happen to be digital papers. I have a digital um, kind of like a uh, plaid set that, that is two colors. So this one happens to be kind of a red and a pink. And uh, so I printed this out. And this is an Arala Miha shop paper from Etsy. Okay, just to kind of share what I use to make. Um, here's one that is shabby chic. And this one... Um, again uses papers from Arala Miha shop on Etsy and it has the same sentiment holiday hugs and uh, and then just a little felt um, holly I think that particular holly die is from paper tray ink but I have holly a bunch of different ones depending on the size that I need and um, and then this one just says twinkle and sparkle this is that these are those tags from um, Lily of the Valley in the UK and I recently found out that they are no longer selling stamps um, traditional stamps. They are, they've gone digital. There's still things available, but they're only available digitally. So that's a big change. Um, and, uh, I'm really sad because I bought their digital stamps, um, the year before last, I think, or last year. I can't remember when I did it, but, um, I recently, my computer crashed recently and I had to get a new computer and, uh, I had a, a backup drive and when I went to hook up the backup drive to the new computer the backup drive failed too <laughs> so <laughs> so I lost almost all my digital stuff and I'm so sad so I'm going to try taking the digital drive in to see if they can fix it but I don't have very high hopes so anyway I I don't know if I'm going to have to I sent Lily of the Valley an email and said you know if I already bought this do I have to buy it again if my computer crashed but um I might need to buy it, buy it again because I love making these tags in different sizes. And the only way you can do that is with the digital set. So anyway, um, too much information probably for you guys. But there's the shabby chic one. And then when you do need to fit a larger sentiment on, on this one, instead of doing three together, I just did two so that I could fit this sentiment at Christmas All Hearts Come Home. And I thought that was a perfect sentiment for this. And again, I'm sorry, This I'm using a stamp set that is not available to you guys. <laughs> it's a retired set. Um, but it's it, that sentiment was so perfect for what I was doing that I really wanted to use it. And, you know, maybe a company could come out, um, all you stamp manufacturers out there, if somebody could come out with some sentiments that go vertically down and that kind of go with hearts for Christmas, um, I think that would be great. I wish the stamp companies would design more for Christmas tags um, you know, they come out with these intricate, beautiful dies, like, um, I think it's Impression Obsession made a really cool, um, mitten that I designed with last year, but they don't make the backer die for it. So they've got this beautiful, intricate die cut, but they don't give you the backer piece. So in order to use it and make a, a shaped tag, you have to then trace the die, cut out the piece of paper. And when you're trying to make a bunch of tags fast, um, that adds a whole layer to your, well, let's say it adds a lot of time to your construction. So um, one of the thing I like about these heart dies is you've got all three layers, you can layer it together and make a tag really fast. And then where I like to spend the time is, of course, on decorating the tag. And on this one, I actually put a jingle bell on the jump ring. So um, I thought this one turned out really cute. So um, so there's those three using the Tammy Tetero die. And this one, again, is the one from the Sizzix uh, die set from the Biggs die. Okay. And then last but not least, I have some samples using... I have one sample that uses the paper tray ink stitching die. Okay. So I stitched around it and using just the full six strands of floss and um, added my little Lily of the Valley tag. Got to have that on there, right? <laughs> And I put a bell on the bottom of this one, too, which I just love that look. I think that's really fun. And then it just has some sequins in it. And I used a few of the sequins that Elise gave me. Hi, Elise. And uh, I think it was Elise. Maybe it was Laura. I think maybe they both gave me some. I don't know. Anyway, hi, Laura. Um, 
but anyway, I filled it with some sequins and uh, I used some other little things that people had gifted me. I think these were from somebody too, these little snowflakes. Um, I get so many wonderful things. I, I'm trying to use what I have because I have so much stuff. Um, I don't need anything. Uh, but anyway, um, so, so this is the one from Paper Tray Ink. And then even though I didn't finish stitching it... Um, here, I'll put that one here can you, so you guys can see it. I didn't finish stitching it, but here is the larger size cut out, just so you can see it. So I'll be stitching this one up and finishing it too. Okay, so those are all the heart tags. Again, um, I just hope you guys will join us on Saturday for our Christmas in July blog hop. There's some wonderful, wonderful designers um, that are going to be part of it. Sherry, Rebecca, I can't, I can't even name any. Carol Herlock. Hi, Carol. Hi, Rebecca. Um... I can't think of people's channels names right now, but they'll all be linked um, at Sherry's channel and in the, you know, in the more section of everybody's videos. And uh, I hope you guys will join in. I'm going to be giving away a $20 gift certificate to, to uh, like a PayPal gift certificate so you guys can shop wherever you want. So um, that's it for me. I will be back on to do some more videos because I have some things I really need to share. I have a bunch of happy mail um, from some channels that I want to help promote and I also have happy happy mail and um, so I'll be back to, to share happy mail and do my drawing uh, for a, a giveaway that was on uh, two videos back I think now okay all right everybody have a wonderful week I'll hopefully you guys will all be hopping with us on Saturday God bless. My love to Robin, my love to Susan and Sybil, and my prayers go out to everybody that's struggling. God bless. Bye now.